Welcome to Tackle Trading. This is Coach Gino Poor with another options report for you, June 4th, 2016. Let's jump into the Bulls team. What do we have going? Uh, very similar to the stock report. I took a few trades from the stock report because they came up on the same screener and some great setups. Um, I want to start with first pick on the Bulls team, AIG. AIG, nice bullish trend. You can get all the details on site, the entry points, triggers. I'm putting my trigger a little bit higher than Friday's close here to buy long calls. Why long calls? Because options are cheap across the board. Premiums are low. Another one, CME, a nice pullback to the 20-day moving average. I like this defined channel in here. Again, trigger above Friday's high to buy long calls. Another one, which is not on the option report, I repeat, is not on the option report, but did come into this, the uh, screener, is DHR, DHR, just above this area here. I'm going to give it a little bit of room to trigger another great long call candidate. Now, amateurs, stay away from out-of-the-money calls. Check out the ones I'm using. Uh, there's, there definitely is a reason why I pick the options I pick, and that's what makes the difference of your trade. What I don't like about DHR is the volume. Notice the volume just isn't quite there. So I'm going to hedge this as soon as I can. So stay up to date with our daily updates on how I manage the trade. It's not placing the trade. It's not finding the trade. Most of it is how you manage it, especially with options. It's all about the hedging. On the Bears team, what do we have? We have Coach. Check out Coach hitting its head against resistance here. A nice red candle. You can see a little bit of support right below here. That's where I'm putting my trigger. Now on the stock report, they're putting it a little higher. I'm putting mine down here to make sure it triggers to buy long puts. Why long puts? Because options are cheap once again. Here we have another bear candidate, HCA Holdings. Got my trigger right below here. Probably going to buy an in the money put here. Look at the triggers. What I don't like about this is the volume is actually positive. Yes, going against the the bulls in a bullish market is dangerous, so definitely position size accordingly. We have a position size calculator on the site. Here's a long shot. I like this one because this has bad fundamentals, bad fundies. This is Wuba, W-U-B-A, a Chinese company called 58.com, internet company. Look at the volume coming into this as it's creating this down channel. This one I'm actually buying out of the money puts because they're dirt cheap and I want to stay in this for a while. Position size is going to be small. Do not like the bullish volume. But with the bad fundamentals, I have my trigger down in here to buy these out of the money puts. This could be very profitable, especially if they start going downhill, like maybe even bankrupt. That would be great with long puts. Now for your advanced spread traders, Tesla. What am I doing on Tesla? Well. I'm not sure which way this is going to go. It could go up or it could go down. But here's the thing. Tesla's a big mover. Which way is it going to go? I don't know. I don't think it's going to go sideways. Therefore, I am doing a bull call spread, which is a bullish call spread, to make money if it goes up or down. We call this a debit condor. The rules and my personal strikes and spread prices are on the site. It pays to be a pro member. These are very high odd trades. Position size is small on these because I don't use a stop. I position size my total position to my risk. About It's about $2 for the entire Condor. Last but not least, Zillow. I like Zillow. I use it quite a bit. This company's starting to show a bullish triangle here. Not a real big mover, but it is a nice bullish trend. I'm going to do an, a, a calendar here. I'm going to do a calendar. I'm going to actually buy out of the money options long term and sell a little bit farther out of the money options short term. Kind of like a covered call. A basic diagonal calendar. It's great for stocks that move about one to two points, maybe three. Uh, calendars are great for slightly bullish stocks, just like a covered call. I like to use them when a covered call is just a little too expensive. I don't want to buy the stocks. So anything above $30, I start considering calendars instead of covered calls. Well, there you have it. There's the option report for June 4th, 2016. Once again, this is Coach G. Check in daily. Follow us on Twitter. 
get our updates on our trade management because that's what it's all about. Have a great trading week and coming to you from TackleTrading.com. Stay in the game.